Previously on Last and Furious. <laughs> I'd have to say Owen just just comes to mind really. I mean, no, no, I think I think that made me feel better about my my life and myself, knowing that I'm not the only failure. Not having big sham as much. Who's been the worst player so far? Bromley. Easy. Stone Cold just shit. Good one. Ollie Bromley. Uh, whipped. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, egotistical, he's bagged a 6 out of 10, and... <laughs> Something needed to change. Even though we had the most goals conceded, we decided to sign a striker. But who? He's he's in, he's signed for life! <laughs> Have your name and age, please, in position. Yeah, Ollie Chipling, striker for Wild Park now, used to be Taurus, and 20. Why'd you leave? There was the one game that I came to to support you guys. I don't know why I was there, and I don't know why I was in your dugout, but the one all against, I think it was, I think it was 502, or it was Avenue, where Ollie Smith scored that, that goal, and the passion. I did not see that at Taurus, it was just a goal. Nice. How would your teammates describe you? <laughs> I really have no idea. No, tell me. Speed. Oh yeah, well, Alex. Alex would say that I'm slow because he thinks he's quicker than me, but he's not. I know at the party that you officially signed, officially signed the contract. Mm. How was that? It was fun. I enjoyed it. Just rubbing it in. Taurus's nose was quite was quite enjoyable, especially as I was rudely removed from the chat for no reason, absolutely no reason. Don't know why they Nothing took offence. No, I don't know. I said I would still play for them when I was wasn't busy. <laughs> the only people I know that were on the team last year were you and Bromley. Um, but I didn't like Wild Part of Us last year. I, I literally it was it was like I was playing for Taurus. And you guys were the rivals, and I was like, fuck you lot. Like, we'd have at it. And then, the start of the season, it all changed. I was like, eh. Falling out a little bit with the, with the managerial staff at Taurus. Um, and yeah, then I was just, I knew a few people, like, like Matt and uh, Ori, Erin. And I just thought, yeah, fuck it, why not? But I, I have to say Bromley because I knew, I knew who Bromley was. I don't think he scored against us. I just knew where he was. How did the uh, signing of Ollie Chipping come about? Oh, it was a nightmare. You know, I pushed, I, like me and uh, Matt pushed and pushed and pushed. Couldn't get him, couldn't get him. Too many players. Meanwhile, all the other team have like 45 people. They've got like a second squad, a third squad, a fifth squad. We're sitting there with a half disabled team, can't run down the pitch. And uh, it, it came along eventually, so. Thoughts on the signing of Ollie Chipling? I think that's absolutely class. Thoughts on the Ollie Chipling signing? Yeah, I've got nothing against the guy. Um, can obviously score more than anyone else on the team, which kind of helps. Everyone else has the shooting ability of Per Mertesacker. But yeah, decent signing. Thoughts on the controversial signing of Ollie Chipling? Uh, see, I think it was a very good signing. Uh, I think at one point he was the top scorer for two teams in the league, which kind of sums both teams up. But uh, I do think I need to have some words with him because I think I would have a couple more assists if he did actually convert uh, more of his chances. Thoughts on the Ollie Chipling signing? Best signing of the season. Thoughts on the signing of Ollie Chipling? Now, that was one that was up in the air. It could have happened, it could have not. Abby from Park Life um, was being funny about squad numbers, give me grief. But in the end, we decided we'll force it through, we'll make the deal happen, and we're very glad he's here. Thoughts on the signing of Ollie Chipling? Oh, sexy, sexy, yeah. Um, yeah. Did you have any involvement? Chipling, in yeah, um, yeah, no, I coerced him in. Uh, Chipling's my one true love. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's good to have him in. Thoughts on the controversial signing of Ollie Chipling? Uh, I think it was clear from that first night how he came out of us. After we said all but the tourists do is go to the student bar, then we took him to a real pub. 
had a few beers with Alex McInnes and that, that will convince any man to join a club. Uh, thoughts on the Chipping signing? Signing Very controversial, obviously. Uh, I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, he comes in, becomes our top goal scorer. I mean, I know he came from our rivals, Taurus, but I mean, when he's scoring that many goals, scoring every week, I can't, I can't complain. Thoughts on the very controversial signing of Ollie Chipping? Well, I've known Oli for uh, well, since last year, and I have tried to force the transfer through before numerous people knew about it, and was halted by. That's rude. What a cunt! Do you want to start that again? No. Uh, so I've known Oli for numerous years, tried to force the transfer through was halted by our captain slash director of sport, which will remain un unnamed, uh, due to too many people being in the team. Thoughts on the signing of the very controversial Oli Chipping? Great signing ever been. Better than Nunes, for sure, because he's fucking wank. But yeah, I think he's, he's where he needs to be now. He's home, he's home. So, there was a party Mm -hmm. Oli Bromley's house, and one of the players was uh, taking a photo of drunk. What do you think of this image? I mean, he's our star defender, but what the fuck's he doing? I, I, I honestly, I, 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 honestly, as someone as as someone has taught people like disabled people cricket, you know, you shouldn't take like disabled people's pictures without consent. It's disgusting. Is this Alex? Yeah, I think so. Well, if he's into wet run play, that's his own opinions. What do, you, what do you think he is? Well, I don't want to comment on the, um, <laughs> the sexual pleasures my teammates take from showering with each other. If that's something they're into, that's fine. But just try and avoid leaking it to the media in future. So what happened at the night of Bromley's? Um, I was I was going with the full intention of having one drink uh, and then going to work the next morning. That did not happen. I had more than one, plenty more than one, and it ended with me and Danny on the floor outside his house walking home with you and Alex and uh, Hammers in bed and only five minutes prior to that, me and Alex were in the sh bathroom with Bromley and I was getting soaked with the shower head. So... Alex was in the shower with the shower head on, soaking me while Bromley was taking a piss. Is that a wonderful way of team bonding, obviously? I think it brought the chemistry up quite a bit, you know? Um, two long serving players and one new signing. I think, uh, even though I've played with them for about six months now, but yeah, I think it's. Uh... Is that where you saw Bromley's <laughs> No, it was actually quite a few weeks after that because I've only recently been invited to the, the, the cock area. Do you remember when he was in your toilet? Yeah, great experience that. It was at that point I was like, right, party's over. Time to go home, everyone. Um, so me and Alex followed Bromley into the bathroom. Um, what is the not sure <laughs> <laughs> Alex decided to jump in the bathtub and turn the shower hose on and drown me whilst Bromley was taking a piss. Do you know what? As, as you know, I, I'm definitely into waterboarding. It gets results. So you know what? All, all power for it. Remember this? I do remember that. Did you explain to everyone what happened? Well, I'd had a bottle of red wine, I'd got in the shower with Owen and Bromley's having a piss, what else is there to explain? Just wondering, the press were just interested, so... Uh, yeah, it was... That's the PG version bit as well. Do you know who was in the room as well? I think we all can assume, based on on-pitch relationships, that a certain tall man would have been present. And because of... Well, crippling FOMO means that if someone's shagging, he's got to be there. What do you think there's something going on between them? I think Alex and Owen, there's just the cute pet names, Tree, um, Velociraptor. I just think people don't come up with cute little pet names like that if there's not something going on behind the scenes. Do you think Bromley's also involved with this? I think he wants to be. I think he tries to get in wherever he can, make up for years of failing to. You know, I don't know why they were all in the bathroom together. Why is that a bottle of wine? It is. Yeah, just a nice romantic glass of wine in the bathtub. 
Yeah. With Bromley and the tree. The tree, yeah. Mm. Do you think there's something going on there? <laughs> Probably, yeah. I don't know why they would be doing that otherwise. Do you not think it's inhumane to just attack the tree like that? Trees need to be watered. Yeah, it needs to be waterboard. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, for someone so tall, he needs to learn it. He, he can't run around like a T Rex with little hands and try and head of the ball that's down by his shins. I don't know why he does it, but he does a good job, you know. And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Parkland Football League. It oh, is, well, I don't know what week it is. Oh, and we've got this gone. We don't know what week it is today, but we have one part of us back in action against Avenue FC. With the ref in place and joined alongside me today in the commentary box is Nathaniel Butler Coxhead. Nathaniel. Hello there, Rob Romney. What are your thoughts on uh, what part of the bus this season to this point? Well, it's been an up and down roller coaster ride, and I really think as long as they don't get relegated, the fans will be happy with what they pay their money for. That is just amazing. Hopes of avoiding relegation from my co commentator today. Pretty delusional, I'd say. Here we go on the right. I'm not really doing much, and they're in already. Here we have Alex running to get the ball, and has he done it? No. Yeah, he drops no. it. Oh, but he's won it back there. Excellent from the centre half. No doubt a hoof clear is coming anytime soon. Oh, he's been pushed Can over. Kieran Wiggs is the world's strongest man now on the edge of the box. <laughs> and he's the world's strongest man pose. It's a bit of a um, a bit of a mismatch there. Kieran Wiggs marking someone who's six foot four. Dinnerwood on the linesman, not on a line for once. Ball comes in. Yourself not not present for this game. Your excuse for that? No, unfortunately, I was actually on a scouting mission away at Juventus um, to try and see if there was any young Italians who we could join. I was going to say, what are you scouting now? The cheeseburgers? Because I'm not allowed. The only thing we're signing is the food in the concourse. It's a throw-in from a man wearing a T-shirt that is far too small. Yeah, showing off his bicep. Alex playing head tennis with himself. Oh, Matt's Matt Matt caught the ball. He's confused. He's just caught it. What's going on here? There's a it's free a kick. I don't. Not really sure what the ref's given here. Potentially, Alex has said something severely heinous there. I think Alex might have just said to the referee that he doesn't know whose ball it is. There it is. Leo. Oh, someone. That must be. It will go away with Kate Lambourne because she would have been where you are. So oh, I think this might be Jasmine Kerr on camera, and you can clearly see it's amateur yeah, work. That's likely to. Yeah, and here we go. Now we've just filmed the trees. <laughs> oh, and there is a tree. Oh, in Barnes there. Oh, and good defending from Alex, reclaimed by Ollie Smith. Oh, he's lost it. Ollie Smith wearing the captain armband today. Rumour has it he got that because he just picked it up. <laughs> Literally nobody gave it to him, but there we go. What's happening? It's just, this is what you come, this is what you paid a big money for. As you can see, the crowd's starting to file in here. Oh no, they're just going home. They're actually not coming to watch football, why would they? There we go. Up it goes to Matt. Flicked on. Oh, that's handball. definite handball yeah, there. Yeah, blatant. Yes. Dylan gives it there. Of course he gives it. Because he's one of our players. Oh. The Domino's man is on it like a flash. That's a good press there. Is he going to get the ball out? God, I think. Why is he wearing a hoodie playing football? Come on, Chris. No, oh, he's been turned there, unfortunately. Oh, a nice back heel. A lovely one, too. He's in on goal here. Can Chris recover? Oh, he's done excellently there. A bit unlucky. And then a wayward shot. Good, good move from Avenue. Looking much of that side. Whoa! <laughs> Down goes the camera there as Kerr's had a few too many ciders. What is she Apologies doing? Apologies to any sufferers of motion sickness in the audience. Yeah, not a good fight. Oh, he's record. decided to shoot from 30 yards. Alex, yeah, no doubt that'll get hoofed out. Oh, to Matt. Will we see a sequence of two passes? Yes. Into myself. I'll find Kieran. Lovely oh, one lovely too. one too. This is good football. Back inside. No one there. Whack. Loose pass there from Oliver Bromley. That a shot target? Ooh, maybe. Maybe just sneaking on target there from the halfway line. You were there that day. Do you know what formation is being played? I can tell it's a four of the back of some kind, but I'm not as certain what the attacking sequence is. I've got no idea. I think oh, Ollie's supposed to be playing CDM, but as we see, he's currently on the right wing. Just why the fuck not? There's a long ball to nobody. Linesman on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> so it's half the crowd here. Is it Big pitch crowd invasion? from the avenue. That's a massive crowd in the fair play to them. That many people coming to watch this kind of football. Real commitment. Oh Alex, we'll there it, it goes. Straight up in the sky. Great ball. Hands on the back there, ref. That's a foul. Danny. Likes to take a masala. Doesn't like scoring any goals. I think this might be a good chance to get a ball in the box. Nice football today. Red ball. Will the arm go up? No arm goes up. In it goes. Flicked on. Mr. Chipling's there. And it's 1 0 to Wild Park. It's an interesting goal there. It's an inter a bit scruffy against Grass Rock. You've got to think what a ball in that is. 
and what a finish from Mr. Chipnik on the left foot. Probably one of the only players on the team who can use his left foot, apart from the left footed players. Good goal in the bib, 1 0, and Danny's getting his kit off. What a celebration, that's a yellow card referee. And in fact, not just ladies, anyone in. Oh, oh and Matt is really. Here. He's charging. He oh, Owen comes across. Oh, what? Is, oh, he's just about got it. Oh, it's fallen to a striker. Good block there from Chris. A resolute rear guard there from Wild Parkers. Matt Ty gets a bit tired, you could say there. Oh, oh well, he's silky been a footwork. Man. Played it into Kieran. Kieran's driving. He's gone for a vertical ball. This An excellent brilliant. pass. Ollie Chipling. Oh, Surely a red, red card here, ref. red. Red. He's been given. Will we see a card? Oh, he said, be careful, lads. It's all just a bit of fun, the referee there. James Coulson collects calmly and hoofs it. Ooh, coming towards the camera. Touch. He's done excellently. Oh, oh lovely oh, bit of skill. Naughty. One for the highlight reel. Put it away, Sam. And now it's kicked off the pitch. <laughs> and there is, there is his girlfriend probably thinking, what on earth have I got myself into? A man with that quick feet and that terrible vision. Not good, not good. But at least his hairline's all right, so that's okay. Shout out, Captain Fish and Chip Shop, best fish and chips in Brighton. Bar none. Not, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor, though, of course. Touch. A nice one too. Kieran can shoot. Go for a free. To myself. Through. Back to Ollie Smith. Oh, he spun the man. He's gonna hit it. It's. It's not a bad effort. Oh, the keeper's nearly spilled it there. It's a short He's now meditating. He's taken a second there oh and dear. lost the ball. That old age catching up with him there. Hasn't got time to take a second. This is a good race. This, this is a good bit of this is a lovely Bolt battle. Oh, an Romero. excellent tackle. What a tackle from Alex. Great. I mean, he's played a calm and composed ball. What has happened to our centre back there? Alex, probably one man to match this game just because he played one pass that wasn't 45 yards. He's playing really well. Up to Chipling. Can he hold the ball up? Just playing keep up to himself. What a player this oh, kid he's, is. He's driving. Oh, he's embarrassed him. Record signing, draws the man in, plays Into it wide, Danny. Danny, deliver, deliver. Ball in. Cross it's, oh, it's a good Ooh. clearance. Oh, it winded the man. That much power on that kind of a cross. A couple of cars leaving the venue. I'd probably be leaving too if I could. Oh, wow. a big long ball. Is this a shot on target? Oh, nearly, nearly. James a big there. effort from the halfway line there. From the, the James the flaps players. the hand at it, much like he flaps the hand at any girl on Tinder that says something offensive to him. Here we go. Oh, oh that's a bit special. Of <laughs> you can't teach that kind of a thing. But the left back played every single minute. Because here we go. What a throw. Matt. Cleared from Matt. Great the biggest move. kick of the game so far, I would say. Oh, potentially rivaled here by the centre back <laughs> trying to play it back to his keeper. He takes a nice knee touch and oh, plays it out wide. It's being pressed. Bromley's won it here. Pen ref! That's oh. a rare pen. That is a well, has anything been penalty. given? I think he's been given. He's going to VAR. And they've told him. They've told him he hasn't got any hair. But whatever. They've told him penalty. I've just seen him signal it. Oh, In the bib. Penalty. Can he get his second of the game against the keeper with the yellow gloves? Oh, shit, I should get on the Mr. Chibling steps up. Goal for Wild Park. 2 0. Calamity at the back for Avenue. How we're tuning up in this game, I'm really not sure. But here you go. It's won by Chipling. Chipling, another shout for potential man and actually having a great game up there. Uh, it does seem to be for Wild Park the Bus, anyone who manages to score a goal will win the match. Yeah, likely. And half time there from the Palm Sports Stadium. Wild Park the Bus 2, Avenue FC 0. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in a minute. We have the second half kicking off here. Chibling taking it. We've got the Lino sprinting his little heart out at the far post. This is the longest kickoff ever. He's rolled through to Alex, who's played a short pass. He Alex. receives it back. Oh no, he doesn't. And it's up. Owen, I think we can call that probably just about a pass, to be honest. Quality the, the quality of the picture, unfortunately, won't include the quality of the football. Alex, he's not holding his face. Millie's probably slapped him again. Millie, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for all you have to deal with. Alex gets spun and hoofs it sideways. The sideways hoof. Another iteration of it. He really isn't reinventing the game. And he's a man of many talents. Oh, oh it's an excellent in. through ball to Chipling. Oh, it's bounced over the keeper. Oh, oh how has that not gone in? Bicycle kick. Oh. oh, what a bit of defending that is. That is heroic stuff from the avenue to keep it to a respectable scoreline. Okay, ball comes forward. The red striker. Matt gets it away. Oh, he's gone down with an injury there. 
Oh, he looks serious. That looks he's like crawling. He's serious. rolling. Looks like Neymar. Matt's down. That's some real concern. Alex has probably just informed me that he's not dead, so I've walked away. Probably decided to throw the ball at his teammate there. Yeah, needed, I'd say. Maybe, have I gone to left back here? I'm not really sure. Chris has gone to go and check on his fallen comrade. Chris, a good guy. I'm sure he'll be offering words of advice like, when's the F1 on and no, you can't have a lift home. Just a really nice guy, Chris. He's a great guy. A great servant to the club. Alex taking a free kick off me here. Not sure how. Is he going to kick this long? I would assume so. Free kick hoof here. Oh, another free kick hoof. What a ball. Oh, is Just it? Oh. Ooh. Good hoof. That was my favourite one so far, I'd say. Ball comes in. Come on, let's clear it. Kicked about. Man on pitch. Hello, oh, mate. Oh, hoofed into our own player there and failed to be cleared. He's hoofed again. Growing, I assume. He's got Big Sam still raiding the instructions. What's happening here? Ah, the world's strongest man coming off. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, it's Andre Goncalves. Round of applause in the commentary box here. Of course, this is his 197,000th club pit of football appearance. Zero goals. Zero goals, many conceded. Well played, many, many. Yeah, looking tired of Pitch as well. <laughs> Big Sam, what a specimen. <laughs> Look that at is that. a knee that's got arthritis written all over it. Ball comes in. Will we see Big Sham? I'm sure you at home will want to see him. Got the Sondico shorts on. Low cut. Potentially the tightest socks I've ever seen. Almost seen. Those legs are going to be suffocated. It's been hoofed. Been headed. Been touched. Been hoofed. Oh, we on the Oh, Mr. Chimpton, come on, son. Come on, son. Oh, oh that is a dreadful challenge. That's an awful tackle. Is that a That's an awful tackle and a bit of handbags. Chipping, no doubt, probably going for a kiss there. There's, there's Chipping looks like he's in some discomfort here. Yeah? He's walking back. And he's walking back again. Is he asking for a substitution? Surely not. He is. He's, he's asking for a oh substitution, but he's... Oh, no way! Big Sham comes on and the camera is vibrating viciously. Chipping. Chipping. Coming off for an injury there, but being able to sprint off of the pitch, yeah. applauding the fans. Well, there the aren't there, there are no fans. Big Sham's finally got his bib on. Just about. Bibber telly, and he's, where's he going to go? He's deploying himself in the box. The goalkeeper's decided to stand directly behind his wall here, so really just going to be lot to be hit. Oh! oh you've just got to think, how on earth is Alex against for the Real League goal? Being picked up by today's captain, Big Sham. It's um, most of way back from the penalty box. A good contribution. You've a got club legend. Probably all big sound the reason that's gone in. If I'm a goalkeeper and I see that... Look at him pointing at the camera out. there. Because I'm claiming the goal. You're not going to be able to focus as a goalkeeper if you see that as well. If you parry that ball, that's your life over. And probably the game over as well. A war horse. Oh, look at him going go. to... Oh, he's just <laughs> charging into a man. <laughs> he didn't even have the ball back then. Oh, it's been one. Is this welfare. a counter-attack on? Give it a big <laughs> Big Sham, he's going. <laughs> he's oh, on he's, he's ten yards offside there. This Unlucky, the offside trap was. Sprung. Chance. There's, I don't know where the left back's gone. <laughs> a Chance. shot. Oh, good Andre, save. Good from save. Time. And there goes the whistle. One of the best sub appearances you'll ever see from Big Sham there. He really did get the margin, probably around the furthest of any player on the pitch. Yeah, that's full time here at Fowler. 3 0 to Wild Park. Nath, I'm going to ask you for your man of the match. It's a tough one. I'm going to go for Ollie Chipling with the two goals and a heroic pressing effort. Ollie Chipling there with two goals and a heroic pressing effort. Man of the match. Thank you, and we'll hopefully see you next week. Next time on Last and Furious. I well, just have two meaty boys, right? Put their bodies around. Um, everyone's a bit scared of them. Taurus, Dylan, Jimmy Sun. Or who? Yeah, shit. Um, Hitler's their captain, and I don't really like Hitler that much. So. Header comes in from Arthur from 40 yards out. Oh, Dre. Oh, over the oh top. that's. Can he get there? Can he do something? Hits it.